yeah, just want to follow up and, and just get some additional clarity on some of the questions that have been asked around uh, the various approaches for, for bike plan implementation. And um, I guess maybe just to start, so with approach one, it actually calls for 155 million, correct? Correct. Okay, so we, we'd we be looking at 100 million uh, instead of the 155, and that's over four years. And uh, one of the primary differences between that approach and approach three is with approach three, it's more of a hybrid. The things that we can get done quickly, um, we can do so with adaptable infrastructure. And if there are trickier, yeah, contexts or, or instances that require more design or more thought, that can still be done within approach three. Correct. Right? Okay, um, but approach three is 200 million, right? <laughs> Spread over a longer time frame. Right. Okay, so if we were to do approach three over the course of four years at 100 million, would that be viable? It would not, I mean, it would not get to that full build out, of course, right? We, we'd be cutting that in half. But what, what type of approach would be taken, I guess? Would it, would it be the same over the course of those four years? Would we be seeing a lot of the front ending of the adaptable quick infrastructure? What would that balance look like? Yeah, I think it would be a similar approach. And in fact, I think the, the budget amounts that we identified, and Pascal can speak to specifics, the 100 million is fairly close to what we were kind of identifying for approach three in the four years. Right. Okay, so... Pascal, just to confirm. Yeah, absolutely. And I just want to... <coughs> highlight that we would be looking to build the program with the intent of pursuing some of the uh, infrastructure uh, through 2730. And so we would be using PDDM for those that could be permanent and then focusing on the adaptable where the longer time frame for a permanent infrastructure. Okay, okay, so approach three could be kind of a good balance between those. Okay, that's good to hear. Um, and then- I don't, I don't know oh. if this helps, but administration's preference or priority um, of, of how to implement, not pace of implementation, uh, is approach three, then approach two, then approach one. Got it, okay. And then uh, just in terms of our actual goals, in terms of like energy transition strategy, am I correct in understanding that it specifically says we need a full citywide bike network by 2030? That's correct, and I think Adam's point there about the order for approach and delivery is the correct prioritization, but yep. then the, the tension here is when you look at our energy transition strategy, we do need a full bike lane uh, network, and the network is what's really important uh, to uh, activate people's ability to shift the way that they get around in the city. Right, absolutely. Um, okay, and then just some questions on some of the alternative amounts that have been... Uh, sort of discussed or, or contemplated, um, 30 million, that would not even get us uh, the, the work that has been designed and planned so far. Like it would not deliver the work that we already have kind of lined up in the queue. Is that right? Sort so of those near term priorities. Not all of the near-term priorities. It would allow us to uh, implement some of the work that was motioned uh, through uh, the Active Transportation Fund. And so um, it's some of the corridors related to Fort Road, 102nd Avenue, 127th Street, 100th Avenue, and 106th Street. Okay. So it's a subset of some of those near-term priorities. Okay, so over the course of four years, we would be um, just sort of scratching the surface of that, that citywide context that we're looking to build out. Okay, um, yeah, I think that's that's helpful. Um, and understand that there's sort of a, a bit of a waterfall process that will happen with the various um, potential amendments to this, but looking forward to discussing that further when they are uh, ready. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Salvador, and I see that we are at five o'clock. Um, so we will recess and pick this up on Friday morning at 9.30. We are in recess. <laughs>